Very good. Let us go over another example. Now, suppose we have a set with four members. With four members. Suppose we have a class with four students. One, two, three, and four. And now I ask students to form groups. I don't specify how many members in each group. I just say, hey guys, please form groups. How many groups? Or in another word, Subsets are possible. Are possible. Very good. So first of all, remember the formula. You might say that I'm going to follow the formula. By the formula, we just need to take two and raise it to n of s. Okay, what is N of S in this case? Here you have one, two, three, four members. So following the formula, you have two to power four or two times two times two times two or four times four, which is 16. Okay, with a class of only four students, there are 16 possible subgroups, right? Or 16 subsets. But how do we list them? The very first one is the empty set. Empty set is the subset, is the subset of any set. of any set. You might be asking, hey, professor, instead of just keep writing it in English, do we have any mathematical notation to represent empty set as a subset of S? Luckily for us, mathematician came up with some symbols. They write it this way. Empty set is a subset of set S. The symbol that they're using is this symbol. Empty set is a subset of set S. So you read this guy as subset. Okay, what is the next subset? First student might say, hey, I just want to work alone. Okay. A set or a group, including the very first student. This is a subset of set S. The second student might say, hey, I want to work individually. Okay, another subgroup. The third student, the same, says, hey, I just want to work individually. I don't want to join any group. And the fourth student might say the same thing. I just want to work alone. So, so far we have one, two, three, four, five subsets. Well, there's a possibility that the first student and the second student might want to work together. Okay. The first student and the second student. Subset of S. The first student and the third student. Okay. Let's write it down. The first student and the fourth student. They, they are friends. They want to work together, okay. But you might have the case that the second student and the third student might want to work together. We cannot eliminate these possibilities, am I right? The second student might want to work with the fourth student, another subset. And finally, the third student and the fourth student, they want to form a group of two students and work together, another subset. You might have this scenario that the first student, the second student, third student, they're a friend. They want to form a group and work together. 
the first, the second, and the third. They want to work together. You might have this possibility that the first student and the second student and the fourth student want to join and work together. Yes, definitely. Well, now you might have the possibility that the first, that the second student, the third student, and the fourth student want, want to work together. It's another subset. How many do we have so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. What else do we have? What other possibilities are here? The first student and the third student and the fourth student might want to work together and other subset. Or you might have a class that all of the students are compatible and they want to work together. So this is another subgroup or subset. The first student, the second student, the third and the fourth, they just want to form a group and work together. Then we count this. We have exactly 16 subsets. We just listed these subsets all together here. You might be interested in writing these using the power set. So the power set of S, which includes all of these subsets, can be listed this way. The set including, okay, Empty set. Empty set is the very first subset. Remember that. Then the set including one. Then the set including two. Then set including three. Set including four. Set including one and two. Set including one and three. Set including one and four. Set including two and three. Let's just go to the next line. Set including two and four. Set including three and four. And the sets with three members. One, two, three. One, two, four. Two, three, four. One, three, four. And finally, set S itself, which is one, two, three, four. And this is your power set of S. The cardinality of this set, as we know, is 16. It has 16 members. The original set has four members. The power set has 16 members. All of possible subsets for set S.